In this video, I decided to do something crazy. I decided to show you guys what kind of a return you can get from spending $200 on retail sports cards. But this might be the worst packs that I've opened up of Optic like ever it is not for the faint of heart as you guys know i do a lot of sports card hunting videos normally i don't do like challenge videos or goal videos today is going to be a little different we're going to try to spend 200 dollars at barnes and noble target walmart either one of those doesn't have to be everything at one or it's just whatever we find whatever good stuff so 2024 top scroll is out um those boxes are around 40 dollars my first stop is gonna be at Barnes since I do get like 5%, 10% off. We're gonna check this out. No tops chrome here at the first stop, but they did have the optic cello packs. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few of these because I don't think I'm gonna find optic anywhere else. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. I'll have the total of everything that I bought at the end of the video as well as if i were to sell everything in these packs so first store was a success we found some optic let's head to target now i know the restock is uh, was yesterday uh, but i was out on a date with my wife all day so i wasn't able to get out here for the restock so hopefully there's some stuff left over um, as you guys seen at the last one there was no tops chrome so maybe they'll have some here so normally there's nobody uh, attending the line right there but today there's a bunch of people so i wasn't able to record but you guys saw that they do have top chrome so i'm gonna go ahead and grab one blaster box i always get asked if i feel awkward like recording in the stores and normally i don't but whenever there's like people in line, I do feel awkward because I don't like to record people in the store. But yeah, I don't, I'm not real camera shy anymore. All right, so they got a bunch of optic. They had one uh, top chrome box, but my, my man over here got it. Grabbed it. And then they had, they have soccer. Nobody wants soccer though. So yeah, that's about it. They have these, if you want to waste your money, on some contenders. But yeah, nothing, nothing real good. No optic football, just mega boxes of Bowman baseball, some flux from 2022, 23, some leaf. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing real, real good. So we just got done there. Gonna head over to another Target. Hopefully that Target has better stuff than this one. I uh, just wanna give a quick shout out to all the creators that come up with ideas like this um like dj and ribs i know he does like you know the value back there's been a few people that have done videos like this so just shout out to them we don't see anything new at this one i don't think they've restocked oh god bless your soul to whoever bought all of you the contenders um quantity limit oh look they have a limit here nothing exciting nothing different here just they do have a bunch of pokemon but yeah that's about it and then they have a bunch of those clayton clark boxes but we're not going to be opening any of that and then moving back here they do have more pokemon stuff but no other sports maybe in the little go back box but nope nothing else just what we see here so far i think things are going pretty well we found some pretty good stuff product that i think we can make some money off of i'm gonna check one more target then we're gonna go ahead and open up all that stuff one of my favorite things about going out and looking for sports cards is meeting a bunch of people uh, i think i just spent like probably cl close to 30 minutes talking to other collectors about what they collect what they like what they're buying what they think the state of the hobby is if you guys ever see me around i want to talk about sports cards sports feel free to come up to me talk to me and by the way i'll be at burbank the card show and i'm doing my best to try to go to fanatics fest which is later in august I think it's the week before Burbank, so I try to be at the, both of those shows. So this one looks 
Like they have a bunch. Oh, look at this damaged one. You know there's gonna be an Eliado in here. <laughs> and then no football, no basketball, only tops chrome. They do have one fat pack left. That's about it. Nothing else. So we got the $200 worth of stuff. I'm gonna go head back home and show you guys everything that I got and then we'll open it up. Hopefully we can make a little bit, if not all or more of the value back. So the price breakdown of all of this is going to be $60 for the Mega Box, $40 for the Topps Chrome Blaster, which is crazy. Um, we got $15 each, so 30, 60, 90. So I would say there's about, it's a little bit under $200, but I got as close as possible. I didn't want to go over because, well, I didn't want to go over. $200 is a lot of money. As you guys see on the channel, I don't really open up like um, stuff like this uh, of this much value. I usually try to stick to somewhere between like 100, like no more than like 120 per video uh, i actually do get asked a lot why don't i open up um why don't i open up more like hobby product and my response really is i can open up i can spend about 200 dollars on a hobby box like let's say 240 for a uh, top uh, tops chrome hobby box let's say 240 um, that'd be one video. So $200 for one. I could buy one blaster box for $40. That's one video. Um, so that's why that's kind of like my reasoning behind um, only buying retail. It's just cheaper. And honestly, I like it. I like retail. Tyree Wilson, maybe later on down the, the road, I can get into more hobby. But for now, we're going to stick to this. We got a Micah Parsons my house hollow and then some more base in the back uh i started with the optic because um the ceiling is high but this product it's it's pretty hard to hit um anything good out of it the odds of us getting our money back is probably going to be like slim to none simply because it's very hard to hit something big out of um retail but you never know we got a Andre Johnson and then Brenton Strange on the green velocity and then Michael Wilson rated rookie. So I am also planning on doing another video where um, I open up like a hobby box and it it'll probably I'm still trying to figure out what hobby box to open because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh the box and then i'm gonna send everything off to get graded so like all the hits the autos whatever comes out of that box i'm gonna send them off to get graded and we're gonna see uh if i can profit off of a box like that we got will anderson jr jack campbell on the hollow and then more base in the back so we'll see we'll see how that one goes um i'm excited for more more formats different videos that are going to be coming up on the the channel i'm trying to get i'm trying to see how i can get more videos out to you guys every um like every week i want to try and get more this is a rated rookie he's actually not a rookie <laughs> um or it's not a rated rookie it's just a regular rookie card but that's an error it's not supposed to be on there but yeah i'm just trying to figure out how i can get more videos out to you guys where it doesn't cost me like an arm and a leg we got jake hayner and then a light light it up b john robinson so out of these packs, nothing great so far. We got one more optic pack and I will be keeping the value. Um, I'll probably put up, put the value at the end of the video so that you guys can see what I spent versus what I can sell these cards for. Obviously this stuff is not like set in stone. We got a Ramondre Stevenson. These are probably the worst packs that I've opened up of optic like ever <laughs> that, that was absolutely brutal i understand why people don't 
like to open i understand why people don't like to open up um these little fat packs it's just they're absolutely brutal i think we got one green velocity right did we get one yeah we got one green velocity out of six five or six packs Whew, that was rough um let's go ahead i haven't opened up any of uh these two products so um let's go ahead and open up the mega box since 2024 tops chrome is the newest set i'll open up this mega box first i haven't opened up the mega box as you guys um, have seen on the channel this one is damaged so maybe there's a Wemby, maybe there's something good in here. Let's put some positive vibes out there. Let's get, let's get at least ten percent of our money back. <laughs> um, all right, we got eight cards in each pack. We are looking. Uh, let's just keep it a buck. We're looking for Victor Wembenyama on the rookie. We got Chris Paul, uh, Michich. We got Luca the Don on the purple. And Max Struess, hollow. The purple shock is going to be uh, Alperin Sangoon and Mathis Thibel. Did he play for a different team? I think, why do I feel like Mathis Thibel played for a different team before? I could be wrong. But there you go. Nothing great out of that. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the purple shocks. I'm not a fan of like the shock parallel in general. Um, a lot of people like it more than like the pinks and stuff. I'd rather have the pink. We got Julian Strother, the splash Trey Young, a hollow Jaden McDaniel. And the purple shock is going to be Kevin Durant and Marcus Sasser. So Paul George is gone. Um, at first, I was kind of sad to see him go, but I I'm okay with it. You know, he made his decision. He didn't want to be on the B team, like he said. Jeez. Um, yeah, I don't even want to get into all that, but we got the Express Lane, Damian Lillard, Lillard um, Express Lane, Hollow, LeBron James. It's a pretty looking card right there. That's for the PC. We got Josh Richardson and Isaiah Stewart on the Purple Shock. And on other sports news, um, I don't know what the Clippers are going to be doing. Like, I don't know if they're going to be good. Leave a comment down below. If What do you think the, the Clippers' expectations are? Uh, are they a contending team? Are they a playoff team? Are they a first-round team? What do you guys think about my Clippers? We got Kaysen Wallace. Larry Bird, Russell Westbrook is gone as well. I was I was actually hoping we could keep him. Um, Andrew Wiggins and Jeremy Sochan. Sochan. Um, yeah, I was hoping we'd we'd keep him too, but I guess it's for the best that he goes to a different team. We got Davion Mitchell, Jaden McDaniels, Mark Williams, Julian Phillips rated rookie we got a my house Keontae george a nice brandon miller on the white hot rookies it's a good card like that card right there Dejounte murray and a nick smith jr two more packs in this mega box um so this mega box i had it i didn't want to get any of the blaster boxes um because I've opened up the blaster boxes and I wanted to see what was in these mega boxes so I had one from a previous video hope you guys don't mind that I scooped that up in a different video we got Chris Murray Osar Osar Thompson got Bogdan Bogdanovich Terrence Mann this is my PC dude right there I collect Terrence Mann so I'll put him to the side um, if you guys didn't know that i pc turns man so there's only i actually there's only one basketball player now that i pc that's on the clippers and that's terrence man i'll collect some Kawhi leonards but not that many too expensive i pc terrence man um for football i pc heinz ward i don't sell any heinz ward cards i actually buy more heinz ward this looks like a blue let's go to the back 
a blue is that numbered blue scopes oh and then we got a victor Wembenyama. i will take that we'll put him up there jaime jaquez rudy gobert and jonas valanchunas nice we got a Wemby. what is this is this numbered for the grizzlies jaron jackson jr oh it is numbered to 249 i'll take that let's go this is like the blue like tectonic kind of thing that's a good looking card 238 out of 249 we'll take that that's gonna be something back <laughs> hopefully all right last box of this video if you guys enjoy this type of video make sure you leave the video a like um if you're new here hit that subscribe button would love to have you guys um stick around for future content i try to do one video every week i put usually we'll put one out every tuesday or friday depending on when i find my stuff and tops chrome mvp buyback eligible 2024 Let's get into it. Hopefully we get a nice Ellie de la Cruz to help out the budget. <laughs> we got Aika Williams, Alexander Canario, Darius Vines, Ketel Marte, and then a refractor of MJ Melendez. All right, this one seems a little bit skinny. The other one felt like it had more cards in there. We got Nick Gonzalez, Noel V. Marte, Byron Buxton, and Jorge Soler. I skipped um, pretty much all of Series 2. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't buy any Series 2. Looks like we do have a prism in here. We got Stephen Kwan, uh, Riley Green, Kyle Schwarber, and the prism is going to be Lamonte Wade Jr., and our sepia is going to be MJ Melendez. The collation, what I've noticed, like with tops, sometimes it sucks. Sometimes it's a really bad collation. Um, like you'll get like a purple uh, Julio Rodriguez and then you get a base Julio Rodriguez. Like it's just, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Got Drew Milas, Cade Marlowe, Yainer Diaz, Blake Snell. So weird seeing him in a Giants uni. And Freddie Freeman, another guy that it's weird to see him in um, the, his Dodgers uni. Even still now. I Anytime I think of like Freddie Freeman, I think of him in his Braves uniform. Um, just like when I think of Otani, <laughs> I think of him in his Angels uni. All right, next pack, we got uh, Pete Crow Armstrong, Justin Verlander. Oscar Hernandez. This is the, I believe, the home run derby champion right there. And then uh, Clayton Kershaw. I think they thought I was a Dodger fan, so they gave me <laughs> all of the Dodger cards there. There you go. We got a nice Ellie de la Cruz. This is Eloy Jimenez, Jordan Walker, and a Sepia. You see what I mean, though? Like, we got a refractor. And a, of Clayton Kershaw and then a sepia of Clayton Kershaw. We got MJ Melendez, sepia, and then an MJ Melendez refractor. Shit is so dumb. <laughs> Excuse my language, but that irritates me so much. We're paying 40 bucks for these blaster boxes and we're getting like repeat cards. Anyway, I try to keep it positive, but <laughs> them bumping up that price to $40 a blaster box just like ticks me off because the one thing that i liked about tops is that they kept their prices reason reasonably like for us to be able to buy like product and now with fanatics taking over and them dumping money everywhere they're t like digging into the pockets of collectors um anyway that's just my little take on it we got emmett sheehan Emmanuel Classe, and we got something weird. What is this? We got a Corbin Carroll on the. These used to be the Sonic parallels? No, not Sonic. Uh, Tectonic? 
Hmm. And then uh, Yuri Perez. Honestly, this is a great looking card. It's just unfortunate that it's Corbin Carroll because he's having such a rough uh, season. But there you have it. That is what $200 on retail sports cards can get you. Um, it is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> um so here's the total of what i spent and here's the total of what i could sell these cards for stay lively be safe out there don't spend your money on junk